Hey guys, it's me Gloria. How we doing today? In this video, I am creating... I'm working on my silhouette and I'm creating a, a daddy's day card. So I just wanted to let you guys know and see what I have put together. Um, I bought this file off of Miss Kate's Cuttables dot com and um, I think the file was a dollar or dollar twenty five and it came with a lot of pieces and stuff like that. So and it to me it's adorable. I just love her designs and stuff like that. So let's get together and do this to put put it together. So my card is going to be a five and a half by five and a half. So I got this white card stock and what I did was cut it at five and a half and this is by eleven and I'm gonna score it at five and a half and that'll make a five and a half by five and a half card. And it'll be of course a square card. I hope you guys are having a really good weekend. My weekend is going really quick. I got to tell you that much. Um, I just can't believe it's almost 5 o'clock over here. Okay. So there goes my card. So let's start decorating the inside. Now the inside I got this blue cardstock and it's 5 and a quarter by 5 and a quarter. And I'm just going to tape it down right there. some reason it don't seem like it wants to go down straight okay that's perfect and then I have this uh, white cardstock that is just five and a quarter by three inches and it's just gonna go right here in the middle just like that And this is just where my sentiment is going to go. And I think I got that straight. It looks okay. Sometimes when you're doing cards from right in front of you and you don't have it right below you, it looks so crooked until you actually stand up and take a look at it. Okay, and for the inside, I am going to use my um, gift card sentiments from My Creative Time with Emma. And I'm going to use the Happy Daddy Day. So I got that right there, and then I got my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And that's my husband in the kitchen cooking. He's making himself a really good healthy salad. Okay, and that goes to inside, which is really simple, you know. You can't do the things you want to do for a girl card to a man card. So it's like kind of a little bit more difficult and more simple than, than anything. Okay. 
and there goes my inside so let's start layering the front now for the front of my card I have this blue cardstock and this blue stock cardstock is gonna act like my sky so it's gonna go right there and it's five and a half by five and a half just like that okay so now what I'm gonna do I want to layer my cloud so I end up using my small cloud punch and my large cloud punch or my medium and my large from Friskers and you could get that in any craft store or you could get it online anywhere that you choose that you can get it whichever craft store they pretty much have it and I mean, if you're into doing scene cards, you need the cloud punch, you need the fence punch, unless you have a really good uh, die cutting machine, which the reason why I had got me the Friskers grass punch and the fence punch from Martha Stewart was because my Cricut would not cut it out so good. But since I got the silhouette, this is my fence cut off of the silhouette and I'm just loving this machine. This machine is so amazing. So I'm thinking of putting it right there, but I just got to see exactly where. So it won't be right there. It will be a little bit further down. And I think right there. Right there is really good. So let me kind of mark it real quick. So I know exactly where I'm going to put my fence. Okay, okay, so with my cloud punch, I end up doing one big one. So on the file that I got off of another uh, die cut from the Miss uh, Cat's uh, Cuttable, she, if you guys get the silhouette and you have not seen this lady, she has some amazing files and they run from a dollar. Now, in the Silhouette Studio, you can buy just one image for 99 cents. But in her website, you can get six to seven images for 99 cents to $1.29. And no more than that. Some They might be a little bit more that are more expensive, but I've never, I haven't seen them. Okay, so I'm just looking for my two-way, and I don't see it. And I know it's around here somewhere because I was using it earlier. Okay. So I guess I dropped it somewhere. Oh, I found it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end up putting some glue on my cloud. And since I got this right here, I want to like put it right exactly right there. Okay, so now I'm going to take my glue and then I'm going to glue my uh, sun. And this sun is amazing. I love this sun, how it looks. And I just clean my mat. And you know, I always do, I don't know. I have a craft mat, but it just seems that the color of the mat don't go with the video. So that's why I barely use it when I'm doing a video. Okay, so there goes, let me bring it down a little bit. So there goes my sun and cloud. Then I got a couple of more clouds and I'm just going to, randomly put them around and I got a couple more and I cut my clouds out of my shiny white paper which is like a glossy paper 
and I bought that wow 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 back in Tuesday morning and it was a dollar ninety eight for fifty sheets so I grabbed it really quick okay so I got these clouds and I just want to randomly put them around but I also want to see where I'm going to put my other cuts at. So I have this tree branch, which is part of her set. And I think that looks really good right there. So I'm just going to adhere these clouds. in the spots that I laid the mat, you know, just to try to keep it uniformed. You need to go over there. What? You want something else? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. My husband made himself a a salad and he's talking about baby no no baby I gotta have me some chicken <laughs> I'm sorry guys I just had to share that with you <laughs> no I'm not gonna remake this video <laughs> my husband's telling me I need to remake the video you know you know I'm not gonna remake no video <laughs> Oh my god, my husband's so funny. <laughs> He's gonna have to go get some chicken or you gonna go to KFC? <laughs> I'm sorry to mess video. No, you didn't mess it up at all, baby. Matter of fact, everybody's gonna be laughing. <laughs> oh my god. I got to. I already got 13 minutes in. I'm not gonna start all over. You hear him guys? He wants me to start all over and cut him out. But you see, the best thing about my videos is I do not edit. So what you hear and what you see is what you get, guys. Okay. So, anyway. Back to my card. Let me put this paper right here. And so I can actually get a better... A better... Uh, glue because I'm over here worried about my mat because I cleaned it and I don't want to mess it up. And I ended up messing up that one because that was on the glossy side. So I'm going to cut another piece. Just give me a second. Okay, I just got to say that my husband, he's so funny. He wanted to eat healthy, and he made himself a broccoli salad. And he actually did a really good salad, too. But it just wasn't enough. He just, he's like, uh-uh, I need me some chicken. So, oh, I'm going to put that one right there. And then this one will go right here in the middle. Just like that. Or a little bit down to the side or further down. But anyway, guys. So, I'm still putting down my clouds. Whenever you're making a scene card, it takes a little while. Because sometimes what you got imagined in your head does not come out the way you want to. Okay, so now I end up cutting out this branch. And this branch is 4 inches. And there goes my beehive. So, you know what this card is going to be. It's going to be so cute, too. And I'm trying to do this card, and he's trying to come up to my craft room. I'm like, you need to get out of here. He's like, don't worry, baby. I was like, no, you got to go. Because it took me a long time to come up with this card. Okay.
And, you know, I'm not coming up with cards like I used to. You know, I would dream about them. For some reason, probably I kind of burnt myself out. I don't know. But there goes my honeydew. My honeydew. My beehive. <laughs> my honeydew. Okay, now for my gate, I'm just going to layer it down here so I need to glue it. And I'm just going to pass it really quick. really quick and sometimes it don't go as quick as you guys want it to be okay that's perfect so now I'm just gonna layer this right here where my little notches are at, just like that. And there goes my fence. Okay, so now I'm going to layer my grass down, and my grass is going to go right there. And of course, I'm going to have to cut some of the... Do I have to cut some of the fence off? Maybe not. Let me see if it's overlapping. Yeah, maybe a little bit. So let me do that really quick, guys. And then on this side would only be just a tad bit and not very much either. Okay, so I got that done. So now I'm going to layer down my grass and my grass is just going to go right there. So let me get my ATG. It's going to go right there. Then, I have a honey pot. Let me move that out the way. I have a honey pot, and my honey pot, I kind of made it big. I don't know why I made it big, but, you know, sometimes honey gets really big. So, that's just in my imagination, guys. I think I'm going to put this on some foam tape. Okay, so just gonna go right there, then the other side right there, and then I'm gonna take the foam tape off. Okay, just like that. Now I got a piece of grass that's going to go in the front. And since I layered that up, I need to put some foam tape on that grass. So just give me a second. Okay. And I think I need to cut it down just a little bit more thinner.
gonna look just like that so let me see how it looks with it right there that looks really good so it's just gonna go right there now guys Okay, so there goes my piece of grass. Now, I have another piece of grass. I might as well me pop it up also. Since I already got another piece of the grass. And I'm going to just adhere it right here, just like that. Okay, so now I have this bumblebee. And this bee is on a foam dot and I'm just gonna let the bee fly around just like that okay and the main attraction is my bear now here goes my little bear my honey bear is sitting down and I did her face with the new Peachy Keen stamps called In the Garden Face Assortment. And I used this one right here. And this is a one inch one. And there goes her face. And then I end up using my perfect, perfect, perfect gel pen that I used to color her eyes in. And don't she look adorable? Whoa, honey, yay. <laughs> and I'm just going to adhere her down right there. Just like that. Now I need to see if my sentiment is going to fit. Because I might just have to move her somewhere. And I'm going to use the new Scrappy Mom stamp set called Gone Buggy. And the one I'm using is... I've been thinking about you. No. You are my honey. So that's the one that I'm going to use. So let me see if it, it will go right up in here. And it's kind of shy. So I think I'm going to put it right over here on this side. And I'm going to adhere her down. Or I sh could put it down here and move this grass out the way. And kind of put it a little bit further up or further down. I can move her up and then I could just put my sentiment right there. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me get my block. And I'm going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And the stamp I'm going to use is You Are My Honey. And I thought that was really cute. And I kind of whispered on the beginning of the video because my husband was in the kitchen. This is his father's day card from me to him. Okay, and it says, you are my honey, so let me put that grass back up here, just like, just like that, and then I'm going to adhere my bear, my honey bear down straight to my cart. I'm not going to pop it up because I got the other items popped up. I just love how her face came out. It came out a doll. I think it came out so cute. So, guys, there goes my card. Thank you so much for stopping by. 
commenting, subscribing, and letting everyone know. And also liking my videos too, guys. I mean, I just, it's just amazing. And there goes my card, guys. You are my honey. I kind of put the sentiment a little bit crooked, but that's all right, you know. With all due, handmade cards are never, never perfect, okay, guys? So, try out to make a honey card for your honey. And there goes the inside, which is really simple. Just says, Happy Father's Day. And there goes the front of my card. So thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful week. Talk to you soon. Bye now.